Let me, let me fix this a little bit. That's, um, I'm like so excited. Just so much going on in the world of Gracie. I had training, the last of the training for the parks yesterday. It was a long day. Uh, it was really good. So many things are just happening in my world. It's amazing and exciting. First, I want to talk about, and I'm going to make a video. I do monthly, they're called blessing bags. And in the bags, I put a couple dollars. I put in uh, socks. I take baby wipes and put them in little baggies, uh, you know, like four or six of them. I go to the beauty supply house and I buy combs, so I put combs in them. Um, um, during winter, I put like um, hot cocoa, some instant oatmeal. I put in some throat lozenges. For spring, I'm gonna switch it up some, a little more springy. I always hand write a small message, just letting people know how much they are loved and that there is better days ahead and to keep their eyes on the Lord and I throw in a little verse with that and I like to handwrite it because I think it's personal more personable so um yeah that's what I'm getting ready to do for April my goal is to do 25 and I know that doesn't sound like a lot but it cost quite a bit <laughs> to get this stuff and you know, I have such big ideas and such very minimal uh, money. So, you know, the, the Lord takes care of it. And I figure, you know, 25 in April, we're going to shoot for 35, you know, in May. And God's just going to keep blessing it. And let me show you something. Um, one of the uh, families that helps monetarily sponsor this uh, missions work, oh, Glory to God for them. Also works in a dental office. And I said, night before last, the Holy Spirit brought it to me. Oh, it would be wonderful to get some toothbrushes and toothpaste, right? So I, right then and there, just texted her that evening, night before last, and said, hey, is it possible? I could pay a small fee. Is it, I'm not asking for free. I never want people to think I'm asking for free, you know, but God always makes a way, right? So I said, you know, is there any way I could get, you know, 25 tubes of toothpaste and 25 toothbrushes? Look at this. Toothbrushes, I picked them up yesterday. And enough toothpaste so I could put two of these into the bag with um, a toothbrush. So I have enough for 25 bags. <laughs> oh, glory to God. I'm so, I told her... I have never felt so excited. I'm so excited over these toothbrushes because as a child, we had terrible, terrible um, dental care, just horrible, you know. I'm the first one to tell people, look, I have dentures, you know, and um, I'm not ashamed of them. It, I paid for them, they're mine. Um, but I would have loved to have had my own teeth, you know, and over half of my teeth were gone out of my mouth by the age of 16 so they were so bad they would just pull them you know they wouldn't even try to fix them and then of course no insurance yada 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 so to me this oh my gosh this is just amazing I'm I'm just so excited let me set these down I, I'm like so excited you have no idea you know um over dab gum toothbrush I'm just excited and and I want and I I love the you know the blessing bags because it lets them know excuse me oh, it's cold still it lets them know that you know people do care we care I love it when someone just out of the blue comes up to me and says something kind to me you know like oh my gosh I really like your smile or man I get good vibes off you you know it, it's a feel-good thing and I want people to feel good I want them to know that God loves them so exciting then we come to my van you know I've purged so much stuff but yet I feel like I'm being um, 
swallowed up in, in my van. It's, I know I'll get better once the weather is nice enough where I could be, you know, outside doing my writing, you know, having my morning coffee outside. So I'm not continuously in my van, you know, um, within the next hour, it should be at least 38 degrees. So I'll go for a walk. But in the meantime, I have arthritis, especially in my knee. I have it in my neck and my knee and doggone, my knee kills me when it's cold. So it's not that I'm lazy. It's just, I don't like pain. So, um, I just waited out. I waited out. But my van, I, um, I went back to the third row. I'm telling you, I have to lay my, my right knee, my right leg a certain way because of the arthritis in it. It's, it's really bad. It's not bad enough to require surgery and I wouldn't do surgery anyway. So, um, but I notice that if it's really cold outside and I end up pressing it, um, I'll find a position where it's really comfortable and then, you know, without moving and four hours later, I'm like kind of stuck. <laughs> so, uh, I got to just reconfigure the bed because let me tell you, if anything, if, when people ask me, what is the most important thing about living in your van? I got to, it's the bed. You have to have sweet sleep. You have to have good sleep, good rest. And I'm just not getting it. I'm not feeling it. So that leads me into the next thing, you know. Um, as I've said, I'm at um, this one parks through April helping out. And then I have another position that currently, I believe I said in the last video, um, that um, it is year round and contingent to you know get along with the older gentleman that he said we each have our own jobs to do so no one is boss over anyone the difference is he gets paid and i volunteer but i you know i get the full hookups and everything not that i really could you know other than electricity for the heater in the winter is great so i you know just first i was thinking i'm gonna keep my van then i thought well maybe i'll get you know a high top and then I was like giving it to you Lord you know I don't know now all these other options are coming along and I kept saying it just doesn't feel right it doesn't feel like I'm supposed to stay past October until something else opened up another park and um, so I know and it was talked about yesterday so um, I'm not going to really go into it or anything. I've learned a long time ago, if you talk too much, you're talking yourself out of a blessing. So, as a matter of fact, I did mention a little bit of something to someone yesterday, and they laughed at me. They laughed at me. They, <laughs> the one part I can share with, and what they laughed at is, I said, I want to get involved with the local government to be an advocate for the homeless and the unhoused, however you want to put it, you know. And uh, they looked at me and laughed. They go, you? Government? So I'm just going to hold on to all these sweet things that the Lord's showing me and wait till it truly comes to pass. You know, every time I think I'm going that the Lord's pulling me left, he pulls me back to right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it, but um, this other park would be truly be awesome. Um, it would allow me year round and it's just really a wonderful opportunity in an area that I absolutely love a community that is amazing and um, I could really get involved so that's all I'm going to say about that you know I just want to obey I want to be obedient to whatever God's will is for me and I want to be in alignment with him so yeah and I'm just always excited there's always something wonderful going on you know there's always something it, um, even on cold rain, like the other day when I did my last video and I paused and I said, <laughs> oh my gosh, I said, oh, I'm sorry, but there's a chipmunk trying to get in my van. Okay. At that point, I should have closed my side door. So a little bit later, I'm sitting in the van and I hear this little noise and I, I had watched some of this paranormal, you know, uh, show and I was like oh Lord 
Gracie, you got you got to quit. You got to quit watching that because it's like freaking you out. You think you're hearing things. And I had these these curtains right here. I had over here on this other side uh, by my dresser. And all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I see this little cute cute face, and it's going. <laughs> Jimmy, the tab gum chipmunk was in my bed. So it was a whole day process because they're quick, right? So then I was reading up on it, and if y'all ever have trouble with chipmunks or squirrels in your vehicles, take some cinnamon. Yeah, that's right. And I went like you would put a circle of salt around you so the demons don't get near you. I put a circle of cinnamon all over the inside of my van. My van smells amazing. And I'm kidding you not, within 10 minutes, that squirrel was not happy it was like jumping all around and so I was like Lord let me open this door so don't let it jump on me and I opened it and it got out and so now I'm gonna just be more cautious I'm gonna be careful with my door but I thought it was funny hear that dang and it was so cute little little chipmunk you know the head was bigger than the whole body it was just a cute little thing but I could make a heck of a mess so I didn't want it in my van but anyway, yeah, I'm just like, um, you know, everyone is really great at giving me their opinion. And I really, I do appreciate people that, you know, hey, maybe you should get a trailer. Maybe you should do this. Maybe you should do that. And, um, you know, I've had conversation with my one sister and, um, you know, it, it would be nice to be able to stand up and it would be nice to have plumbed bathroom The those aren't necessities for me and so whatever God gives me I just know if it's long term I, I really feel like um, the course the Lord has put me on is changing directions into a bigger broader um, area so it's I feel that the Lord had me write that book that has never been published but it is written um so i could get rid of all that garbage so i got rid of all that garbage and it was healing and it was amazing and then um i got more into the word of god and was able to have a better stronger um relationship with the lord just you know so there's stepping stones you know I don't know about y'all, but I don't like waiting. I do not like to wait. It's like, I just want to know. I want to know now. Let's move on with it. And one thing that the Lord has taught me is sit back. Just take a breath. Let me finish my work, Gracie, so you could go and do your work for me. And so that's what I'm doing. Anyway, um, I just wanted to give an update. I think that's pretty much all I had on my list. You know, um, God is amazing. I'm excited. And when I do, um, in, in the next week, I'm going to start assembling the bags. And so my blessing bags. And I'm going to do a little video on that. You know, anyone could do that. Even little tiny, like, first aid kits, you know. Um, just, you, you could put together so many amazing things to give to people that really need a hand up. And what it does is it just, it's like giving them a big hug and telling them, you know, hey, we got you. It's okay. It's good. God is good. God loves you right where you're at. He loves you if you're in a tent. He loves you if you're on sleeping on a sidewalk. He loves you if you're in a van, if you're in a house and you're in a mansion. He loves you. He loves the just and the unjust just alike. He doesn't love me any more or any less than he loves you. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, I think I've talked enough. Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for listening to me. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Always pray for me, and I will pray for you. If you have someone that needs, you know, a little lifting up, just, you know, give them a hug. It is so easy just to share something good with somebody, you know. Um, real quick, I went to buy coffee for these firefighters, and he was like, I see him all the time, and he's like, no, 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 but... He goes, tell you what I'll do. I'll take one of your big bear hugs. Now that's amazing. That was great. Here I was trying to do something good for him, and he did something really wonderful for me. So, okay. I do believe this is it this time. I'm going to get ready to go for a walk.
this cold outside. It's only like 36, 38 degrees. Just too damn gum cold. But anyway, I'm going to do it. God bless you all. And remember, God really does love you. Right where you're at. Right where you're at. Just receive him. Love him. Get into your Bible. Start reading the words. And once you read the words, absorb them and start living God's words. It's amazing. It's so amazing. God bless. Talk to you soon. This is Gracie, and I'm out. Bye.